Just write test of your faith. Just write there. Wala tiko ya tumelo ya hao. In 1 Peter 4. Peter wa matumwa chapter 4. 12 to 15. 12 to 15. 1 Peter 4. 12. To 15. Petro wa matomo chapter 4 12 to 15 Just go there. Ariye ngana mo 12 to 15 Beloved think it not strange concerning the fiery trials among you which cometh upon you to prove you as though a strange thing happened unto you but in so much as ye are partakers of Christ's suffering rejoice that at the revelation of his glory also you may rejoice with exceeding joy if ye are reproached for the name of Christ blessed are ye because the spirit of glory and the spirit of god rested upon you F- verse 50 say for let none of you suffer as a murderer or a thief or an evil doer or as a meddler in other men's matters but if a man suffer as a christian let him not be ashamed but let him glorify god in this name can you see that verse there Let him glorify God in this name. Let's Amen. pray. Thank you Lord for your word in Jesus name. Amen. Amen. I I want to take this introduction to tell you that we are in the last days and Whatever that comes is seeking your faith. To lose your focus. Once, once your faith is gone. Your focus is no longer there. Peter was speaking he said You must not even use your mind. When you experience trials because it must come. To prove you. I, I was reading this I began to understand that uh, truly Jesus say cheer up because you have overcome cheer up. so the bible says when you face all this you are partaking in the suffering of Christ you know why the bible say this why bible bolela like ka mogwao because already any trial any temptation is there to tell you that your faith is working can i say this that uh, without facing any temptation you will never know if truly you are a christian there is something in you look at this verse that says i mean sometimes it's not possible in verse 3 it says but in so much as you are partakers of christ suffering rejoice that at the revelation of his glory also you may rejoice with exceeding joy but what you say if you are reproached for the name of Christ blessed are you in other words blessing is not what you are seeing it's a reproach blessing is a reproach when you are facing what you are facing it goes by how do you handle it if you are christian you are blessed are you i love this verse that said don't think it strange you know because it also happened to other people God. why is happening in verse 14 say 14 yare 
if you are reproached for the name of Christ, <inaudible> blessed <inaudible> are you because <inaudible> number one, the spirit of glory <inaudible> and the spirit of God rested <inaudible> upon you. <inaudible> this is a sign why you must go through trials. It talks about the spirit of glory and the spirit of God rested upon you. If we can reach a level whereby when we are challenged, we reach in this level, we will understand that God is watching us. Because, you know, you cannot have the spirit of glory and the spirit of God without God. You can rest when you find you are meeting what you are meeting. Listen to this. I heard that many of you face many, many trials. But from today you are overcome. I say from today you are overcome. Blessed are you. Blessed are you. Already the scripture shows that you are blessed. Listen to this. Once your faith is tested, once trials come, it shows that this is the time of producing fruits. And then once you look at the trials, you can lose all the fruits. I've read, I found that all Christians who are faithful to God, their life is not easy. Because if you read verse 7 in 1 Peter 1, 1 Peter 1, verse 7, one verse seven. It says the, the, the trial of your faith is more precious. In other words, it's there as a good thing for you. It's more precious. Can you see that verse there? The trial of your faith is more precious. Can you read your version there? It says what? Yes. So you can see the trial of your faith <laughs> is to bring out to you you come out as perfect the way you are needed by God. There's something in you. It will never be visible until you face trials. You see the challenges you are going through. They are trying to tell you that there is a gold in you. And this gold is having the flames. You know, it's being tried. Put it in a flame of fire to come out as being perfect. I, I thank God because you have been squeezed so much. You have been pushed so much. You have been challenged so much. So that you come out the way God wants you to be. This year, you must be what God wants you to be. There is a hidden talent. There is a hidden gift in you. There is a hidden uh, treasure in you. There is a big assignment in you. But there have to be a challenge. There have to be a trial. And this trial is there to bring it out. I see your assignment coming I out. I see your gift coming out. People must know you this year. I said they must know you this year. If you believe, shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you read here, you will see that temptations or 
trial of your faith. They are very, very good for you, especially when you read James 1. Just go James 1 there. If you read from 12 to, to 14, it talks about you must endure when you are going through that. Listen, Christianity has never been easy. There are trials of your faith. And your faith came by the way. If you read James 1 verse 12 to 14, it talks about endure. Why? Because... You must know that all these trials are not coming from God. They're not coming from God. It's coming from Satan. And God has allowed it to prove Satan wrong. That you are different. You, you are so different that when you meet a challenge, you won't behave like the people of the world. You are so different that you won't talk like the people of the world. The trial of your faith prove you that you are standing where God wants you to stand. And the glory will manifest. I don't know if you are hearing me. Blessed are you. There is a glory in you. There is a spirit of God in you. But also you must endure until this thing comes up. Endure until your talent comes up. Endure until you become visible. One of my fears today is, is when we don't face trials, we will derive some formulas that makes us to reach somewhere. You will find some way which are not even in the word. Because many of us, we are crying to be like other people. And we don't know what they went for. Your trial is so important that it produces you to be you before God. There are some people who are not there. Even if they die here, we will say they never existed. There is an assignment that God has created you for. That God knows why you are here. Because that's why you don't have the same problems. If your problem is so good for you, so that you become what God wants you to be. I love that trial. I love that challenge. I love that challenge. I love what you are facing. I love what you are facing. When we thank God concerning the trials, He will give us strength to endure. We will endure. And we reach on the other side. Can I tell you this? Nobody rejoices in the time of trial. If the Bible says endure, it means it's paining. If it is endure, it means it's tough. I was asking myself when I was in Israel, I saw where they believed that when Jesus was carrying the cross, the cross was heavy, so he touched down. He touched down. Sometimes you touch down. But touching down doesn't mean that you have fallen. And doesn't mean that you are, you are part of down there. And then I ask myself, where did he get the power to rise up again? Sometimes we get people who carry with us that cross and help us to our dying. But thank God because our dying is not forever. I love the trial you are facing. I see you touching down. But you are not falling down. Sometimes you can look at your finances, it's like you are going down. You are just touching down. But you are not falling down. 
I see you rising again and become what God wants you to be. Can I tell you this? Many of us, we are tired because what is coming is coming in all directions. Trials on all sides. But I want to tell you from today, you are overcoming your trials. You're overcoming your trials. You're overcoming your trials. I say you're overcoming your trials. Your trial is so precious. It suits your size and your shape. Sometimes you can look at yourself. I've been doing this. I've been trying that. But there's no way out. Can I tell you this? If there was someone there in your shoes, that person was supposed to be dead. But because God knows you will make it, that's why you are still alive. What you are going through is so tough that can kill someone. But God will never allow you to die. You can go through with endurance and come out with a crowd. I see your name be known this year. I say your name will be known this year. This trial of your faith will produce results. If you believe, shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, when Abraham faced his trial of his faith, you know, when I look at that, I found that many of us we could not comprehend. One of the best things that I realized it was tough for Abraham. When God spoke with him, there was no way he can tell his wife. We didn't find any context where he spoke. And say, and say what do you think about this? Second thing, when he was on the road to the Mount Moriah, the boy was always asking, the boy was always asking, where are you going to get it? And Abraham knew, he could not say you are the one. Because if he say you are the one, the boy will just run away. And he's an old man, he can't catch the boy. He will fail in the assignment. He kept that to himself. There are some things you have kept them to yourself. And they are eating you up. And you can't tell anybody. But they are on the plan of your life. But I'm here to tell you, very soon, God is about to provide. I say he's about to provide. You are facing things that you can't explain to your neighbor, even to your sister or your brother, even to your, mar- to your, to your, to your husband or your wife. You keep quiet to yourself. You say, I want to obey God. I want to do what God wants me to do. And if I speak, it will affect the plan of the living God. But you carry on say, I'm doing it. Because God wanted me to do it. I'm here to tell you that that obedience, that obedience will bring fruit that the whole world will see. I can see you with the fruit and everybody will question, how come you are blessed like this? Hey, your faith has been trialed. Your faith has been challenged. I love when your faith has been challenged and bring fruit. Fruit. I don't know if you are hearing me. Tell someone say, hey, my faith has been challenged. I can't lie. My faith has been challenged. I can't dodge the point. My faith has been challenged. I will stand my ground. And I believe this year I will show the fruit. I will show the progress. I will show what God has created. Me for. Your faith has been challenged to stop you 
or in the end, I'm here to tell you there's no power in heaven and earth that will separate you with the love of God. You will carry on doing what God wants you to do. If you believe, shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Shake somebody and say, Hey, my faith has been challenged, but I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. No, I'm hearing the power of Goliath, but I will still move forward. Like David, and I will destroy Goliath. How many of you are ready to use the name of Jesus against Goliath? I say, Hey, Goliath, you have challenged my faith, but you will fall down today. You will fall down today. Your faith <laughs> is tested. Sometimes when I look at you, I've been looking at you and saying, Oh God. If someone can say, Do this, I'll give you this. And you see this thing is wrong. Because you want this, will you do that? I was also looking at the people who are working. Some promotions were not promotions. There are some things that has happened. It's not because they got the results from faith. It was agreement in sin. Many people today but have, have achieved many things because but of the agreement of sin. Not because God has allowed their faith to face trial. Listen to this. Once your faith is tested, it's not tested for nothing. God is speaking with Satan. Do you know that we my are child deserves this car? Satan say, no, 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 before, I want to prove to you that this car is not worthy for your son. It's not worthy for your daughter. Let me bring this first. There comes a graph going down. When you are rejoicing and trusting your God, being happy about your God, you know there will be praises in heaven because God will be happy and say, can you see Satan? Can you see my son? My son is happy even when he's tough. Can you see he's still standing his ground because he knows what I can do. Listen, when you pass a test of your trial, you are bringing the authority of God in the presence of Satan. It's as good as you are bringing a light in darkness. I don't know if you are hearing when you pass that test of your faith you are changing the atmosphere and you are bringing God where there is Satan and automatically Satan will vanish in a minute can I tell you this many of you have been facing a test of your faith and devil was saying you are not worthy to be anointed you are not worthy to be blessed you are not worthy to stay there and go say hey my child deserves the best you begin to face troubles so that you must not trust God but I am here to tell you that little trust you were holding is about to work for you is about to bring the results I am here to tell you what you were facing was a test of your faith and see the results coming to you in the name of Jesus and see you driving a car that nobody has ever tried in your family because you have passed that test I've seen you stay in a house where 
question. Everybody will yeah, ask a question. How come you have achieved this? But I'm here to, to tell you, you have suffered. suffered. They, they loved, loved you. But God, God never, God never leaves you. He was there. When they were laughing, when they were talking about you, I'm here to tell you, what challenge you were facing is about to produce what you have been waiting for. I'm telling you, you are about to shine your shine in the name of Jesus. I prophesy someone who is listening to the sound of my voice that today the trouble you have been facing is about to bring that car. It's about to bring that house. It's about to bring that healing. It's about to bring. I say it's about to bring. I see you. You are about to give birth of something that has never been seen in your family. You are starting a generation that will surprise everybody. You are starting a generation that will shock your neighbor. I prophesy someone who is listening to me. I say today that trouble is leaving you. That shame is leaving you. That trouble, that sickness is about to run away in the name of Jesus. Hey! Hey! I say, hey, yeah, yeah. hey! I say, hey, yeah, yeah. I can see people looking at you. They say you've been coming to Chalice. Where is your God? And what is happening? But I'm here to tell you hey, we are serving the living God. And we are not afraid of Satan. And you are bound to receive one thing. One thing. That will make them to faint. I say, hey. I say hey. I say hey. I feel like not reading but preaching to you. Can I preach to you? Because I can see when God is lifting you and everybody is speaking. Everybody says it's over with you. Listen hey. The enemies gather together. They want to destroy you. But God says hey. It's not yet time. Can you tell your neighbor say hey. It's not yet time. You can still get up together. You can still fight me. You can still come out to me one way. But you will run away seven ways. Because I have the Lord. I have Jesus. I can see Jesus on your side. Hey. Say hey. Hey. Say hey. Tell another person hey. It's not yet time. It's not yet time for you to fall down. They are talking about your falling. It is a test of your faith. What you are going through, they think it's over. I am here to tell you, this is the beginning. This is the beginning of your journey. Because I can see when you take a step, I see a car. When you take another step, I see a house. I see a marriage. I see a marriage. I say hi, I say hi, When you were facing that trial, those who were weak, those who were gathering against you, they were looking at the distance. But that left you. But my God was saying, I have a daughter, I have a son in that charis will hear this message. And once this child can hear the message, hey, I see no body becoming a celebrity. I see somebody Honoring a company. I 
because there are some people who are looking at you. You were asking yourself why things are like this in your life. And when you pray, and you don't bring out results. They look at you and say, oh, truly you are believing God. Let's see. Let's see your God come up. Come up with your God. And you carry on believing the scriptures. Try God believing in him. And God say, hey, my season and my time are known by mine alone because my thoughts are not their thoughts. Even my ways are not their ways. When I come, they will never understand how I do things. I can lower you knowing that I can raise you. I can allow you to go down but you won't die there. Yeah, I see someone hey, rising up, hey, living higher. If you believe, shout up. Hallelujah. The trial of your faith. The trial of your faith. Can I tell you something? It happened by the time of Nebuchadnezzar. When Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were taken to the furnace. Do you know what happened that day? What's the word I changed at Chilela? Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were thought. They thought that if they can just die, para war kano ishela ulukile. There is heaven to attain. Wona leko dimo wya yiwa. You know there was nothing to lose. No, sinan train la tele lang mubo na. Because for them to live, kore bona ba pile. Is Christ. But for them to die. Was gain. So there was nothing to do. They say we are approaching the finance. It's like I'm seeing some people. Say hey share. No one enter there. And come out. No one enter there. You are trying things. That nobody can also. And I was like I'm here. These boys are stupid. I gave them. Position. They must worship my Satan. They must worship my Satan. And just bow to take. And this guy said, Hey, we don't care about your position. We believe in our God because we know it's our God who placed us where we are. Though so we are in a land of confusion, we cannot be confused because we are in Babel. But you know, Nebka said, Hey, I, I just throw them very fast. I want to get rid of all of them. When they were thrown there. You know these boys. Oh these boys. When the flame was burning. It's like I'm seeing these boys. It's like I'm seeing. It's like I'm seeing you. Inside the flame. You are dancing inside the flame. It's like you are rejoicing inside the flame. I don't know if you are hearing me. You know these boys. They enter flame. They begin to speak in tongues. They say. Kura basada. You know what they were saying? They were saying, hey. They were saying, hey. You are Jehovah Shama. Jehovah Shama. You are Jehovah Sidkenu. Jehovah Sidkenu. You are God, Jehovah. You are God, Jehovah. We are here with you. You have never left us. They were saying, we are inside. We have entered inside. But we will come out of this. We have entered inside. We will never die inside. Because our God is a creed. We have entered inside. But we will get out of this place. I see some people. We are questioning when they came out. When they were ordered to come out, the witness had changed. He said, Hey, let's worship the God of these people. I see people, they are about to worship your God. 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 But you are poor. But you are going to come out. I say you will come out. You have entered into the finest. But you are poor. But you will come out. You have entered. But you will get out. You have entered inside. But you will get out. You have entered. Your problem. Your problem. But you are going to come out. You have entered. 
trouble with you have your troubles but you're going to come out you have entered where you have fallen down but you will never die you are going to fly up you are going to stand and come out yes tell the person to you I am coming out 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 I was entered but now it's time to come out I am coming out I was inside but now I'm coming out I was inside inside but now I'm coming out I was inside but now I'm coming out I was inside but now I'm coming out I was inside but now I'm coming out I'm coming out I'm coming out I'm coming out I was inside 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 Yes. Hey, hey. Yes. Take a fast step. Yes. I'm coming out. 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey. Yeah. Hey, yeah, yeah. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm coming out. I'm coming out. Kataburo. Inside shame. Niafa. I'm coming out. Kaforumu. In my forum house. Niafa. I'm coming out. Lukesheni. In the location. Niafa. I'm coming out. Fleteni. In the flat. Niafa. I'm coming out. Nijena kama nsheni. I'm entering into my mansion. Nijena. I'm entering. Eh hey, Nijena. Hey, I'm entering. Nijena. I'm entering. I'm sworn to see you enter. I'm entering. I'm entering. You are entering. You are entering. Promotion, Yabo. Is that your promotion? Enter. Promotion, Yabo. Promotion. Yeah, 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 yeah,
of living what is right. How pillar to go? When you just know that you are not offending anyone. You are living by the word of God. You'll be surprised. Satan will search for you. Search for you. Out order. Search for you everywhere. But God Himself will fight for you and fight for you. And you'll be victorious. But I see you become victorious. You are becoming victorious in this week. You are going to conquer. You are going to conquer. You are going to conquer where you are working. You are going to conquer. In your business that you are doing, you will be victorious. Among your enemies, you will be victorious, you will conquer them. You are going to conquer in the name of Jesus. If you believe, say Amen.